So one of the things you talk about uh, is this Elijah model in part of this process of recovery. Tell us what that is. Well, you think about Elijah, he had this great victory. And and I think that Elijah really thought that, okay, the prophets of Baal are all gone. And and he has this thing with Ahab, the people decided to follow God. So he's going to be like a counselor to the king and hmm. and everything's going to be great. And then the opposite happens and his life is threatened. And he, uh, he had this great uh, thing that he did that took a lot of energy and, and was, was a, a very intense experience. And then he runs away and he winds up sleeping under a tree and wishing he could die. And, and, and God sent an angel and, and at that point, God didn't ask him, what are you doing here? The, the angel was like, here, this yeah the journey's too great for you here's something to eat sleep mm-hmm. um comes back and and um then he goes on and he goes way down in the southern part of Sinai and goes in a cave and and um there is in in isolation and and you know sometimes we just need to we need that withdrawal and we need to just step back from everything we just need to sleep and eat and Mm -hmm. and rest and and i find especially after really intense experiences and i find like if i do an international trip and i'm in a place where things are really in chaos and it's just really is maybe dangerous but it's just people are in abject poverty and there's just it's i mean it's just um you can't hardly comprehend what life is like for those people and and you feel drawn to what's happening there and then then I come home like how do I even process that and I just need time to to think and time to rest and mm. and sleep and 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 kind of allow myself to to think over what I what I've experienced and and process mm. that mm. um and so that period of time is important before I engage with my normal life and the issues that I, f- I face um, every day in, in my normal routine. Mm-hmm. But that period of, of resting and, and reflection is, is healthy in, in getting ready. Now I'm ready to go and I can engage mm-hmm. with the things that I, I normally face when I'm, when I'm at home. But then God came to Elijah in the cave and kind of his question then to Elijah is, what are you doing here? Uh, There's a time to come out of that. Mm. And if we stay there, if we just say, okay, I'm done, I'm, I'm withdrawing. And um, God doesn't want us to stay there. And he, he calls Elijah out and he's saying, well, I'm going to give you Elisha as a helper and, and here's some things you should do. Mm. And you're not alone. There's still 7,000 people that haven't, uh, bowed the, the knee to Baal. And so, uh, no, you're not the only one. You're, what you're thinking isn't mm. really quite right. Um, and God calls us out, get, get re-engaged, uh, get going. But just that, that sequence of, of sleeping and, and eating and retreating and mm. talking about what the reality is and then getting some help and, and going on. Mm-hmm. 